So I took a lot of classes that I enjoyed, right? So the, the classes I didn't take that I wish I'd taken more of. Mm, actually, I wish I'd done more stats, uh, especially in undergrad. That would have helped me a lot in grad school. Um, drop that learning curve a little bit. Um, but I, mean, I also wish I'd done more. Actually, I wish I'd done more literature. Uh, you know, my Shakespeare class, one of my favorite classes, and things like that. I mean, when else are you going to do that in life? Well, I, I met my wife in college, so it's kind of a, that's cheating. <laughs> oh, um, that's hard. Um, first of all, it was a long time ago, uh, but I really liked uh, kind of the IB program in the sense that there were a lot of classes uh, where you know the, the groups are small and you get to really work with teachers and learn more advanced stuff and that was really nice. I mean graduation was really nice. My dad got to give a, a, one of the speeches so uh, that was very personal. Uh, so yeah, that, that those probably. Look, I think honestly and for, for better or worse, what, what place you find interesting has more to do with who you are at the time than the place itself. Uh, when I was, you know, like I did the Inca Trail when I was six years old with my family and this is some of my earliest memories and that is kind of like kind of seared into but it has much probably more to do or almost as much to do with the fact that I was six years old than it has to do with the marvelous quality of Inca Trail which it is wonderful but um, I think that's, it reflects more about who I was then. Same with I, I backpacked, I did the whole backpack in Europe at 19 thing uh, and I remember walking barefoot because my flip-flops broke uh, and I was walking barefoot and kind of like tearing up my feet, bleeding on the floor uh, on this beautiful southern French road, right? Uh, so uh, I think that the pain associated, the contrast between the pain in my feet and the beauty of the place made it very special and memorable to me. And I would recommend both those experiences, minus the bleeding, uh, to anyone who's traveling. Oh, uh, obviously not, I didn't get very good advice because look at me now, but um, no, um, explicitly advice? I don't know. I, I always found people giving me advice in a, in, a, in a, I'm going to give you advice now kind of voice to be not particularly memorable. I think I, I always, um, I, I was taught many things by people uh, that really shaped who I was uh, from, from you know, Friends in high school who taught me to look beyond what people seem like they are and to be a little less pompous and a little less, you know, like, and be more open minded about things um, through, you know, you know, uh, that's a good question. Um, you know, college professors always say, kind of like, seize the day and take, you know, like, enjoy your time in college while also working hard to attain your goals and. All that stuff is, it's all true, but you know, you'll get that all the time. You'll get it, it's pretty generic. Yeah. You know, be, a, be, a decent, be kind. <laughs> um, other than like my parents and you know, standard authority figures. Um, I had a, a grandfather with a very interesting life story where he basically, um, his family had money when he was very young, but then they lost everything in the depression. And then he, uh, he was very motivated and he worked very hard uh, and ultimately became very successful, which, is, uh, which made a lot of things possible for me. Um, so I was, very, I was always very uh, impressed with that story, as I think many people are with whomever in their family story uh, went rags to riches and, you know, like, and bootstrapped themselves into something or something like that. Um, yeah, so I mean, these are, I don't, I don't know how valuable these stories are, but they're, they're certainly what shapes you when you're little. Oh, things to do? Um, well, I, can, I, I have young children, so my, my bucket list is pretty boring at this point. I want to get <laughs> all my girls to grow up healthy and successful and go and have happy uh, and satisfying lives. And if that happens before I die, then, then I did my job. Uh, and of course, I want my students to succeed and all these things. Yeah, you're, you're, like, you're very dear to my heart. Ooh.
Oh, um, that's actually easier in some ways for me because I don't watch that many movies. Um, I love, there's a, you know, Iñárritu is a very famous director now. He won the best director stuff, but a long time ago, a million years ago when I was in college, he did a movie called Amores Perros. Um, and I thought that was a, a wonderful movie uh, back then. And I would, I mean, it's, it's, it's in Spanish, but it's been translated. Um, and it's a, that's a very good movie. Oh, um, well, I have two sisters, so that's cheating. Right? And I know what they named their, their daughters. Um, actually, but that's not true. I bet I would have been named, my dad would have pushed for either Isabel or Alicia because those are the family names on his side of the family. I love USMP. It's a, the campus is beautiful, the students are great, the size is wonderful, it has many, many virtues. Uh, the truth though is that like everyone else in academia, uh, the place chose me, right? So when, you, when you're a professor, you apply uh, to the jobs that you can, and then um, you take the job that you get. Um, so I feel extraordinarily lucky uh, to have been to have found a match and to have been picked by UF St. Petersburg because it's a it's a really nice place to work, a really nice community. Mm -hmm.